We got my white girl drink, so we're good to go. What is up guys? My name is Christopher or Chris. Welcome back to another video. Today, we have something that I've been waiting to get for quite a long time, uh, and it is a Gretti cat back exhaust. Currently, I have the Nameless Muffler Delete axle back on my car. Sounds great, they're a local company. Shout out to you guys, I still love your exhausts, but I've been wanting a cat back and in my opinion this is the best sounding exhaust period for the 2015 up wrx um for the sti i'll be honest i think every ex sti exhaust sounds the exact same just my opinion i know i'm gonna get a bunch of shit for saying that but i'll be completely honest uh with unequal length headers pretty much every exhaust sounds the exact same so for the wrx at least um I think this is the best sounding one. This is $474. This is the stainless steel one. So this is not the TI, which is going to be released later uh, in like 2019, early 2019. And that's the titanium one. So that's going to be super lightweight. I didn't really want to wait. Let's get to opening this. Um, I ordered this from Import Image Racing. Uh, it came very fast. Um, $474, they seem to be the only place that still has these in stock. Um, even Gretti themselves do not have this exhaust. And I think I haven't even said what this is. It is the Gretti GPP RS exhaust. So it is a cap back exhaust. Uh, installation is gonna come out a couple of days after this video comes out. So hit that subscribe button down below. Follow my social media, which will also be in the description uh, to get updates much quicker than on YouTube. So let's get to opening this. Uh, this seems to be something that's happened to a couple of other customers uh, when I've talked to people online and I did see one exhaust on Import Image Racing's website of the box being ripped. Um, I've heard it's not really a big deal. The exhaust is never damaged, but this does bug me. Oh boy, I see part of it. Christmas has come early, boys. <laughs> All right, here we go. This thing looks sick. All right, I think this is the mid pipe. Yes, it is. Sick. Let's unwrap it. Oh, you can't even see. Let's unwrap this thing first. Uh, actually, let's take the muffler out as well. Uh, we are going to be using my nameless polyurethane bushings. Uh, which I believe will work fine, I hope. Here's our hardware, which comes with either zinc plated or something, I don't know, uh, bolts and then some gaskets. So those gaskets look awesome, let me show them. Actually, I'll unbox those and then show you. Then the muffler. Damn, this thing's actually way bigger than it looks, or like this is way bigger in person than it looks online. Let me get this box out of the way and unbox all this stuff. All right, so let's start with the very first thing, which is the actual muffler portion of this exhaust. They definitely uh, package this very nicely. This is, I will say this is packaged much better than uh, Nameless is. I, again, this isn't meant to throw shade at them. Um, I love their exhausts. I've had absolutely no issues with them. Um, and I will continue to buy their products, but I just thought this is a more unique exhaust. And that took forever. We're probably gonna speed through the mid pipe, but here we go. RS race, which you cannot see all that well. Hold on, hold on. There we go. Look at that beaut. Big ol' exhaust. Um, 
I believe this is a three and a half inch. I don't believe this is a four inch, but that's a big ass muffler, man. I got no mufflers on my car right now. This is gonna quiet my car down. This is why I think this exhaust is gonna be quieter than the nameless axle back because of this muffler right here. Let's look in that. It is a straight through exhaust. I don't know how well you can see that uh, because there's no lighting over there. You really can't see, but just take my word on it. It's a straight through muffler and uh, we got some, you know, I'm no welding expert, but we got some, I apologize for the lighting, I really do. But you've got some nice welds here, nice welds here for the tip. This is the really cool thing, is you can get titanium and stainless steel tips, and you have little Allen keys right here that can just be taken off. And you can get burnt tips, you can get different lengths. I believe this is the 105 millimeter tip, and I think, uh, eventually I will get a burnt tip 115 millimeter so it just sticks out a little further and then I have some variety which is super cool and there's just three of those I believe yep three and then we have a GPP uh, you guys can't really see you can kind of see but right here you got the GPP logo which is super super cool I'm so excited about this let's go set this down and take a look at the mid pipe and the hardware Pretty basic mid pipe, I would say. Again, I believe it's a three and a half inch uh, exhaust. I really cannot remember off the top of my head. I'll put something up here if I am wrong. Uh, but anyways, let's get on to the hardware. This was a pain in the ass to get undone, to be completely honest. So you got some cardboard in there. We'll get rid of that. And we got some two different gaskets, actually. Interesting. We have like a metal gasket and we have like a normal gasket-ish thing. So, here we go, this is the metal one. This is the normal one, they look cool. Um, and I honestly have no idea which one goes on which part of the exhaust. But anyways, that's cool. And then here are nuts and bolts. Super cool. If you guys wanna see the install, be sure to subscribe down below. Leave this video a like. Thank you all for watching, peace.